So yeah, you're special but staying alive while your abilities are so outsized. You could go to the moon or outer space. You could win a car race and get first place. You could build a temple or a ziggurat, but animals can't. And why is that? Is it because you buy Peter and you walk on too? But so did T-Rex and the kangaroo. Is it because you got a really, really big brain, but the size of dolphins are the same? So what is it that makes a sack different from every creature in the habitat? Language, the power of words, let you understand what you just heard. Sure, you got a lot of great matter, but it's how you use it that really matters. So to cut through all the chatter, your brain's organized like cerebral platter. Is it one spot or a scatter? Definitely the latter. Speech production, word recognition, language is a huge part of cognition. Broca, Wurka, and the cortex. That's how you understand all your text. And sure, animals have communication, but they don't have control of the situation. Innate, automatic, instinctual. Their sounds are under limit control. But since you do more than squeak, you can think before you speak. What is it that makes Greek Greek symbols make language unique? We take sounds called phonemes and turn them into morphemes. Word. Make morphemes repeating. Get infinite meanings like Tiffany caught a flea under her knee by the tree. She probably needs vitamin C. You do not need a PhD for you to see absurdity of the story, but it was history. When we took S to the P, E A K I into G, this isn't hyperbole, language is anthropology. Power of words. Language. The power of words. <laughs>